We are following two, two big pieces of breaking news out of Florida this afternoon. The Florida House just voted in favor of two pieces of legislation passed by the Senate yesterday. Lawmakers there stripped Disney of its special self-governing status, a punishment over its opposition to the state's don't say gay law. That's how it's known. Republicans also voted in favor of new congressional maps that were redrawn at the demand of the Republican governor, Ron DeSantis, which would discriminate and dismantle, I'm sorry, which would dismantle two districts currently held by black lawmakers. That passed even after Democrats shut down the session. The votes happened in rapid succession and shouting in the chamber could be heard after the gavel. Let's listen. This motion is not debatable and requires a majority vote. All in favor say aye. aye. All opposed, no. Show the bill, show if motion passes, we will now proceed to call the previous question. Both of those bills now had to head to Governor Ron DeSantis' desk, where he is expected to sign them into law. Joining me now from Tallahassee, Florida, is NBC's Maura Barrett. So, Maura, tell us more. Well, Katie, prior to all of this, Disney and Florida actually had a really great relationship, right? It brings in tens of millions of tourists every year, bumping the economy, and it employs tens of thousands of Florida residents from surrounding counties. And so this is the first point of major tension we've seen between Disney and the state of Florida. It's a prime exact punishment, essentially, because of the Don't Say Gay bill. Ron DeSantis, even though the bill was just introduced this week, he's already fundraising off of it, sending out an email to supporters uh, this week saying, quote, if Disney wants to pick a fight, they chose the wrong guy. Now is the time to put the power back in the hands of Floridians and out of the pockets of woke executives. And so this is something uh, that has been very much expedited through the House. We expect him to sign this as early as tomorrow. I spoke with uh, the Republican lawmaker who introduced the bill, Randy Fine, about what this might do to the overall relationship between Disney uh, and Florida going forward. The relationship between Disney and Florida has taken a big hit in the last few months. Remember, they're a California company that is a guest in our state, and they seem to have forgotten that. I hope that Disney returns to being a common-sense, family-oriented company that wants to be a good partner to the state of Florida. Now, this will take effect next summer, not until June 1st of 2023. So Disney has some time to compromise with lawmakers. But also over that time, the question remains about how, if it does dissolve into surrounding counties, does that impact taxpayers? I asked uh, Representative Fine how he sees that leveling out. And he said that ultimately this is just the first step, that they still plan on making Disney pay their debt so that it doesn't trickle down to taxpayers. And he sees it ultimately as a positive because they'll also be able to absorb uh, the, the, the emergency services the utility services that Disney employs now. But obviously, this isn't as simple as just signing a piece of paper, Katie. This is going no. to be a long process and one that Disney has a lot of time to push back on uh, for it to even really happen.